Hey, what's up guys? Jakey here. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the NetDuma R3 gaming router. Uh, so this is basically just a gaming router with a bunch of different features like steady ping, Wi-Fi 6, and also geofencing and built-in ad block. So there's a lot of things to like about this router and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing it. So shout out to NetDuma again for sending this out. But as always, that does not affect my opinion of it. So this is the unboxing of the router. You're just going to get the router right here. Looks very clean with the RGB strip uh, on the top there and you get a bunch of LEDs in front too and in the back here we have four different slots to screw in a Wi-Fi antenna which come in the box and that's the back IO as well so here we go these are the four Wi-Fi antennas that you get in the box that you have to screw in and then you also get an Ethernet cable in the box you also get a power cord as well and that's pretty much everything that comes in the box and also on the lid you get a quick start guide uh, and you also get a card with a QR code on it that you can scan later to set up your router. But this is basically how you screw in those Wi-Fi antennas. I also forgot to mention that this router is retailing for $250 USD, but currently there's a launch discount for $200 USD. So this is basically how I have it set up. You just connect it to your old router through the WAN port. And... That white cable you see there, the white Ethernet cable is going straight into my desktop computer. Um, so that's basically how you set it up. Super simple. Just plug it in after that, turn it on, and that's it. All right, guys. So I have the router completely set up as you saw in the video. It was super easy to set up. All you have to do is just connect it to your old router, connect it to your computer, and you're good to go. And then I just waited like three minutes for the router to actually boot up. I scanned the QR code on my phone and I was able to set it up all through the app on my phone. This is the desktop version of the app that you can access as well on your computer. And I'm basically just gonna be running you guys through the whole dashboard. And this is pretty much the main reason you're gonna be buying this router is for all of these features right here. So let's get right into it and I'll show you guys through all of the uh, features that it provides. Okay, so starting off, what we can do here is we can do a network speed test. Um, so you can just click here for a speed test and you can click find my speeds. What's, what it's going to do then is it's just going to do a, a pretty standard speed test here. So we're just going to wait for this to finish. So that's the speed test. You can also do a ping optimizer. So you can see my old ping was around 30 milliseconds and it optimized it down to 23. Basically to do this, you just click here and then you click optimize my ping. As you can see, it's going to test your ping and it's going to find a number for that. So mine here is 30 milliseconds. So as you can see, it's going to lower our ping here. And as you can see, my new ping is 22 milliseconds. So it improved it by seven milliseconds. Okay, and as you can see, with the ping optimizer, I went from 30 milliseconds to 22.6. So I'm just going to click optimize now, and there we go. So that's the ping optimizer there. You can see here also we can change the RGB on our router. I don't like having the RGB on, so I just turn it off, but you guys can pretty much choose a bunch of different effects here. And you can also make it so that it's uh, dynamic lighting based off of the game that you're playing. So that's pretty cool as well if you are really into RGB. So you can also customize a bunch of other stuff, like you can customize the Wi-Fi name and password, obviously, like any other router. You can add um, a guest Wi-Fi channel if you'd like. RGB control, like I said earlier, you can change the theme of the interface. Uh, you can also do uh, port forwarding, rules, you can block apps from accessing the internet, a lot of stuff like that. You can also add a VPN. This is uh, coming soon. It's currently not available, but if you have uh, open VPN software, you can add that into the router itself. And you can pretty much do port forwarding and pretty much anything else that you would expect from a typical router. All right, guys, another cool thing you can do is the geo filter. Um, I've seen a lot of people use this for Call of Duty. And basically what this does is it adds a little geo fence, uh, which basically means that you can only connect to servers that you set in a certain area away from you. So if you set a really tight geo fence, what it's going to do is it's only going to connect you to servers inside of that area or it's going to try its best to. It doesn't matter really for games like Valorant because Valorant, there's like two set servers for me on NA West. It's just Oregon and North Cali. But for games like Call of Duty where the servers are really all over the place and you can get placed into any of them, you don't have the luxury of selecting your own servers in Call of Duty uh, and games like that. So the geofence will really help with games like that. But for Valor, it's not really going to help too much. There's also a feature in Duma OS called Steady Ping, which is really, really cool. Basically what it does is it just adds a ping overhead buffer. So it will just increase your ping by a little bit, but it will basically keep your ping steady and smooth at that ping to get rid of any jitters. Okay, and this right here is Smart Boost. Smart Boost is really cool. What it lets you do is it lets you add different activities that you want to prioritize. So as you can see here, I have gaming and live stream. And if we click on the add button here, there's a bunch of different things you can add. You can do video streaming, 
uh, cloud gaming, VPN, social media. And so what this does is it just prioritizes the traffic from these things. So if I'm gaming, it's going to prioritize all of that traffic. And another cool thing here is you can actually see in real time. So for example, if I were to pull up a YouTube video, like let's say I just pulled up one of my YouTube videos here, as you can see, we can actually see it in real time. So you can see here that it's actually using 29 megabits per second. For some reason, it doesn't say YouTube. It just says unknown, but it still is showing us that we're streaming a video or we're doing something with our network here. So that's very, very cool. And so, yeah, once it detects uh, traffic from like live streaming or gaming, it will prioritize that over every other traffic that's going through our internet. And then down here, we can also see our network activity. Um, so you can see, we can change the range where we want to see like the weekly or monthly or whatever. And yeah, so you can just see like every device. This is my smartphone. This is my desktop. You can see how much um, internet data you're using, when you're using it, and what different categories it's separated into. So that's super, super cool. You can see the amount of download upload that you're using throughout the day, throughout the week. And if we go down here to device manager, we can actually see all of the different devices connected to our router. So obviously we have my desktop computer here and then off the 2.4 band, this is my smartphone. So you can see here, you can pretty much see everything that's connected to your internet. And down here we have an ad blocker you can turn on as well. And this will just block ads through your router. Um, so that's very, very cool as well. You can turn this on and it will block ads for pretty much every device that's connected to your router. And then if you want to customize the ad blocker list as well, you can click into here and you can add your own list. So you can add your own URLs, your own domains. Okay, so now let's talk about whether or not this router actually helps with my Valorant ping. So overall, it didn't really do anything. It didn't really affect my Valorant ping too much, which is what I expected um, just because I already had pretty good routing with my ISP. And I wasn't really expecting this router to improve my ping because at the end of the day, ping is uh, determined based on how far you are from the server itself. So I wasn't really expecting this router to improve my ping. But what it did do is I used to actually have really bad ping spikes when I started streaming uh, to Twitch. And a lot of you who follow me on Twitter will know that. And it really made it impossible for me to stream Valorant. So in this clip right now, you'll see that this is my ping when I'm on my old router. Uh, when I started streaming, you can just see that my ping graph in Valorant just starts spiking up to like 100 plus ping, which is crazy and pretty much unplayable because it rubber bands every couple seconds. And then in this clip afterwards, this is with the NetDuma R3 router with the stream in the background like live. So as you can see, it pretty much completely got rid of all of my ping spikes. So this basically made it so that I can stream Valorant again. The only downside is it adds like around five extra ping. So my ping is slightly higher, but the trade-off is I can stream with no issues at all. And I really think this is because of that uh, smart boost, the QoS, that prioritizes the streaming and gaming traffic, which makes it possible for me to be able to stream without having those ping spikes. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So in terms of actually lowering my ping, it didn't do that. It actually raised my ping a little bit. But the trade-off is now I can actually stream Valorant without having to worry about any ping spikes. I think this router is great if you need it for the other features as well. Like if you play a lot of Call of Duty and you need that geofencing, I would definitely recommend this router. And yeah, the Duma OS just comes with a bunch of great features. So if you make use of all those other features, like the geofencing and the steady ping, like if you need those features, they're really, really good. And so it really is just up to whether or not you need it for your specific use case. In my case, it made it so that I can stream Valorant again, which is great. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, shout out to NetDuma for sending this out for review. If you guys want to check out this router, I'll leave all of the relevant links in the description below. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.